Hey, Mackenzie, it's Mike. So, uh, with your by your request, we're going to do LXC on this photo of your daughter. Um, I'm going to straighten the horizon a little bit. Uh, you you could kind of go off of either one here. So you have two, you have a horizontal line and then you have a vertical line that are pretty, um, neither one we're ever going to be able to make completely straight. I'm going to go with the fence line because I believe that in actuality we could actually use the liquify tool to straighten this up and get both of them straight so <clears throat> if you want to see that you just hit, hit me up or something and I'll make another another video of how to straighten uh, the light pole with the liquify tool it's really easy to have, I mean we would probably be done in two seconds if this doesn't take too long I'll do it on this on this image we're gonna take and open it up in Photoshop I don't have LXC presets for Lightroom. I only have them for ACR. Let's see. Camera off filter. And where is it? LXC. There's LXC. One, two, three, which I like three a lot on this image. And then four. Four is kind of high contrast. So let's see. Between two and three. Two, three, I'm going to go with two. And that's just out of preference. So you can see that they crank up the, the orange saturation quite a bit. And what I'm going to actually try to do here is just get her skin tone to about where I want it. Not really paying attention to her hair. Um, I assume that she's probably pretty fair skinned. So I'm going to take the luminance up just because she has red hair. Um, and maybe add a little bit of contrast. You can see they dropped the saturation uh, levels way down as well. And the blacks, they raise up quite a bit. I might add a little bit of blacks back. Uh, maybe not. Maybe a little bit. Actually, I think that's exactly where they were. We'll see what it does when we mess with the shadows a little bit. I'm feeling it right there. I usually get rid of the grain. It's kind of up to you if you want to keep it or not, but I'm going to drop it out. I'm kind of only a grain person usually uh, with black and whites. Let's see. All right. Mm, so our skin... Uh, I'm not sure if I like her skin yet or not. Let's see. Let's just kind of play around with it and see if we end up liking it or not. If not, you can kind of see what I'm talking about regardless if you like the skin tones or not. I'm going to zoom in on her hair because she has pretty red hair. And I'm going to take the saturate brush or sponge and drop that down. Sometimes Photoshop doesn't want to work very well. I'm going to saturate her hair a little bit more just to kind of pronounce it just a little bit more. Let's see if I like that or not. I do kind of like that. See if I add a little bit, dodge it just a little bit, brighten it up just a little bit, and see what happens. That was doing the shadows. Let's do a little bit of highlights. And when I'm using the dodger burn, I just kind of stick to what whatever the uh, is naturally already there so if it's high I might bring out a little bit more of the highlights uh, I think I brought out too much of the highlights so let's back that off a little bit I think I like it right there um, let's see one more thing sometimes I like to go back into camera raw and just make some a few more adjustments maybe crank up the warmth just a little bit maybe We'll see. Uh, let's 
Let's see if we like that. Let's take it back. We can always undo it. And I I like that one right there, to be honest with you. I, I think it's really good. If I wanted to clean up a few other things, uh, it's completely up to you. I might uh, use a healing brush here on her just to remove some of this. Either it's food or her poor little self got hurt. And take a little bit off here. And I actually, I, I like that. Usually sometimes when I'm going back and forth with LXC, I have to do it three or four times until I, I end up liking the image because the skin tones are so hard. Um, so let's see if I can do this and liquefy since we have it open right now. <clears throat> let's back this out just a little bit right there. And let's use the, what am I looking for? I'm looking for this. I think it used to call, be called the smudge tool. Let's take that, make it a little bit bigger. can't tell I'm having a tough time with it I don't know if that looks straight or not maybe that is maybe that's straight now I'm not sure but you can kind of see what I was talking about that's pretty straight um, but you can see what I was talking about as far as straightening it up it might be a little bit off right in here but let's go on to the the next image All right, we're gonna straighten it up a little bit. And I think on this one, maybe we're gonna use LXC03. Just cause how cool it is already outside. Let's check, let's check and see. It's gonna go LXC03. I'll add a little bit of warmth in there. So this is a little bit underexposed, and that's all right. Crank up the shadows a little bit. Add a little bit of warmth. Right about there, I think. And then let's give it a little bit more greens in there. And Um, let's see. I like the leading lines of the sidewalk here. All right. Yeah, I think that's about it on that one, honestly. I think that's going to be about all I can do. I like this. I like this picture. Both cute little girls. Let's go into the next one. Oh, the red hair is back. So let's straighten this up again. Let's do that. I didn't drop the grain on that last image. I probably should have just kind of sticking to what I normally do, but I forgot. Let's see. We'll go through them all on this one. Looking. I'm sorry, I keep clicking. I'm just trying to decide which one I want to start with. I think I'm going to start with three. Like that. Maybe drop the highlights a little bit. Yeah, we will. Give it a little bit of exposure. Pull up the shadows a little bit. I think I'll drop the blacks just a smidge. Maybe a little bit of contrast. See there, and I will kick off because I remember to get rid of the grain. Let's see what we do if we mix. 
I like it right there. So there's all three of your images uh, edited with LXC. I think we, I, I stick to two and three for the most part. Con the contrast one, the high contrast one. If I if I feel like it needs contrast, I just add it myself. Um, hopefully you this this helps you decide if you want to keep it or, or buy it. I'm sorry, if you want to buy it or not. Uh, I've I've bought several of the tribe uh, presets. I have DNH, which is Don Helen, hate it. Uh, KLN, which is their newest one, hate it. Uh, and then LXC, love it sometimes. And the last one that I have is uh, Ryan Longnecker's presets, which I, I've gotten them to work a few times. Don't necessarily hate it, but uh, definitely don't use it as much as if I use one, it's probably going to be LXC. We'll just leave it at that. So hopefully you like the video. Hopefully it helps you out a little bit. Um, and if you want me to save off these images and send them to you, I'd be more than happy to. But I'm going to sign off for now. If you have any questions, hit me back. Bye.